guys welcome back to the channel hope it all well right back down the gower i'm at southgate and this particular area is very rocky it's quite snaggy and uh, in terms of bottom fishing it's rotten bottoms all the way but i've also got my spinning rod or my lure rod and uh, on that i'll be doing a bit of float fishing and i've also got some 28 gram metal lures or metal spinners high water it's in around four hours time nice big one this evening so hopefully that'll bring in a few different species in terms of bait for the bottom fishing i've got fresh ragworm sand eel squid bluey and a bit of mackerel guys enjoy the video and hopefully i can get a fish So that's the bait rod out there, starting off with a one rod for now, I've got a two hook flapper rig on, size one hooks, the top hook is ragworm and squid and the bottom hook is straight ragworm. Now in a second I'm going to grab my spinning rod and have a few checks. To be honest, in terms of action, I reckon we're going to have to wait until that light starts to go down. At the moment it's very very bright, it's very warm, uh, we've got a gentle southwesterly, but yeah, in my opinion, when that sun goes down, that's when uh, we'll hopefully get a fish or two. I got my spinning rod here, standard 10 foot spinning rod, this is one of the old ugly sticks, standard spinning reel, 12 pound line all the way through and uh, on the business end i've got this 28 gram metal lure now i like these because they're quite weighty and you can give them a good whack and that's useful for when the fish are quite far out but before i start i'm going to get the old pliers and uh, i'm going to take off one of the hooks off that treble i don't like those treble hooks they can often be difficult to remove from the fish you know so i'll take that off and then We'll have a few checks. Well, so far it's been very, very quiet. Nothing on the bait rod, nothing on the spinner, not a touch. But the light is starting to fade now. 
the sun is going down so hopefully it'll turn on I did see a good fish to my left jump so uh, there is life out there it looks so good looks so fishy high water it's in around an hour and three quarters but in the past, off this very mark, I've had some good fish. I've had smoothhound, bullhuss, dogfish, wrasse, pollock, garfish, mackerel, pouting, whiting and cod in the winter, congas, and the list goes on. So uh, I know that it can produce, you know? Hopefully, something will happen. Or maybe it won't. That's fishing for you. I've not bothered setting up the uh, second bait rod because this one, not a touch. If I was getting bites on this one, I put a second rod out there, you know, 4 0 pulley panel, big bait. But at the moment, I'm not sure if it's worth it. I'm trying to spin as well, so there's only so much I can do, you know. It's perfect now, perfect. Got to be a few mackerel out there, surely. The wind has pretty much gone. A bit of a southwesterly earlier on, but um, the water now is not far off, flat calm. Two boats out there, trying their luck. They're not that far out actually. A couple of hundred meters maybe. The tide is coming in quite fast and uh, that's why I'm now fishing off this little platform. Where I was, I've been pushed off there. Come on. Nice knock there guys, on the bait rod. Couple of uh, good pull downs. Probably a dogfish. Yeah, still there, I'm gonna take a look.
yeah as I thought guys a doggy it's very very dark very dark markings on it he took a liking to the uh, the ragworm there we go nicely unhooked My mistake, it's actually a bull hus. Yeah, small bull hus there. There he is. Look how dark that is. I'll just move the camera into the sunlight and um, I'll show you properly. I know it's only small, but that is super, super dark. Right. That's better. I got a bit more light here. The sun is just about to go down over the cliff. But yeah, initially I thought it was a dogfish, but then I could tell that it was a bull husk. The bull husk, they've got much bigger spots, you know. But this, like I said, is a very, very dark fish. There he is. Strong old things they are, so strong bull has. Pretty thing. Right, let's pop him back. Line's gone slack. Yeah, I can feel him on there. If it is, it's small. Nothing on me, I don't think. Again, looks like uh, it attacked the ragworm. Yeah, like I said at the start of the video, I'm using a rod and bottom setup, which is basically um, a weak link between your bait clip and your weight so that uh, if your lead gets jammed that weak link of eight pound line breaks off but you get your rig back well that's a theory anyway but um, so far today I've, I've lost no leads you know I don't like leaving things in the sea and that's why I'm using leads which contain no plastic that's pure lead on there so um, you know if I uh, if I was to lose that that would decompose naturally you know salt water anyway let's get this back out there on the uh, big bait rod right down side I've just stuck on a big piece of mackerel and uh, straight away something's onto it. But classic dogfish nod, you know. Now, this particular mark, I fished a lot in the past, but I've never filmed here before, first time. And uh, I'll be honest, guys, <laughs> this is not going to be one of my uh, better videos. It's, um, it's been a bit tricky, to say the least. It wasn't too bad on low water, but um, as soon as I got pushed back, you know, constantly moving, trying to work with the light. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> so I apologize. 
my next one, it'll be better. Just want to say a massive... Scorchio! Just want to say a massive thanks to uh, all of my subscribers. I think I'm on 3,200 now. Uh, big thanks to my channel members. I've got seven. Wee! Uh, it's very much appreciated. Um, the uh, 199 a month that the channel members pay all goes towards bait and fuel. Simple as that. I don't waste it on rubbish. But yeah, huge thanks to everybody. You know, who watches the videos and comment, etc. A lot more to come. I'm going part-time on the 7th of September with my main job, so I can focus then on pushing my eBay shop uh, and making loads more YouTube videos. No reason why I can't do one video a week going forward, you know? Oh, unless I break my arm or my leg or something. I think I'll give this now half an hour and uh, I'll call it quits then. I've been here for ages and uh, I've got to walk back up that cliff face. That's going to be tricky. It's always a nice feeling when you get back to the car, you know. Have a bottle of water. Job done. Yeah, it's gone quiet now, the right down rod. Tide is falling back. What a beautiful evening. That's what it's all about. Left hand rod, guys. I think it's a dogfish. As I thought, guys, we got a doggy. Look how dark it is. God, it's almost black. Oops, all right, son. All right, I'm going to pop you back now. Ooh. It's almost like a foreign species. I've never seen a dogfish that dark before. Like that bullhouse earlier, that was dark. Obviously fitting into the surroundings. Must be quite kelpy out there. I'll tell you what, I'll get him unhooked first because uh, he's not going to keep still and then I'll show you properly. Dee -dee -dee, dee -dee -dee. There we go, let's pop the rod down a sec. There he is. Look at that. Never seen one like that before. Well, you are unique, aren't you? <laughs> I bet he got picked on in school. It's very cute, actually. It's very pretty. Let's pop him back in.
He's gone. Right then, guys, I'm going to say uh, goodbye now. Been a tough old session. Uh, I think I'll have to have a rethink in terms of coming here again and filming. You know, come up with some kind of strategy. Because, um, yeah, I've wasted lots of time today, you know, faffing about with camera and the tripod and, uh, yeah, just faffing. But, you know, I've been out fishing. I've had a bit of fresh air. Beautiful part of the world, so I can't really complain, you know. As always, thanks for watching. It's mega appreciated. Any questions or comments you have, pop them below and I'll get back to you. Until the next one, which will be better, look after yourselves, take care, all the best.